So immunotherapy has revolutionized patient care over the last decade. Patients now achieve long-term uh, control of disease and even uh, remission, and it's become a main uh, standard of care within oncology. So we're really excited today to share data from a thousand patients who've been treated uh, with immunotherapy in particular, one type of immunotherapy called a checkpoint inhibitor therapy. And we were trying to really understand what factors determine which patients will benefit from treatment and which will not uh, benefit. And this is important because although the treatment can provide tremendous benefit, it can also have side effects and toxicities. And so being able to personalize the treatment choice for each patient is, is critical. So we're very excited. We've been able to use this big data set to try to pinpoint the group of patients that will respond to immunotherapy treatment will have the best outcome and then also the ones that are not likely to respond and they then may be uh, candidates for other types of treatment where they may see other types of benefits. So there's a number of, of treatment strategies that, that can be used to uh, address toxicity when it, when it uh, occurs. Uh, the main focus here has been in the sort of biomarker uh, part of the project and um, we try to look uh, genetically inside the tumour, what types of mutations are there, what types of genes are active or inactive, and so we try to focus that into a, a predictor. So we don't necessarily control the toxicity, but we can identify upfront who, who may or may not suffer from that and who may or may not benefit from the treatment in terms of tumour reduction. And one of the real hopes is that we can, if we know and can predict exactly who will benefit, we can then go to bigger population groups, other tumour types where immunotherapy may not work for everybody, but there's a, you know, a 5%, a 10% of some subset that it could really uh, benefit for, but we can't identify those without a, a, a diagnostic test. So the hope would be to formalise uh, predictors of immunotherapy response, test them in prospective trials, and then that may enable more patients to benefit from immunotherapy treatment that can't do so today. We're planning to, to publish our, our, our new analysis uh, rapidly in, in the next few months to, to show what we found from a, a big cohort of patients and then from that we plan to continue our collaborations with academic partners, also industrial partners to try to take things forward in terms of future prospective studies.